Hi everyone, I'm Guy Lecker, a machine learning engineer from Iguazio, and today we are going to see how we use LLM to extract features from unstructured data. In this demo, we are going to mimic a call center agency where customers are uh, contacting the call center agent and they are uh, talking about an issue. Uh, we generated call calls using OpenAI to generate a conversation, and then we use some text-to-speech service to generate uh, an actual voice that speaking and save those files, MP MP3 file. Uh, at the end, I will talk about future work we are expecting to do, but for now, let's focus on how we take, uh, how we extract features from this conversation audio files uh, to a data frame. So here we have uh, our pipeline that is going to, uh, to run. Uh, as you can see, the conversation audio file is getting full transcription. Then we recognize PII and analyze, and finally we post process to get raw features from the conversation. Go through uh, each function, and then we'll run it together. So uh, the transcribe is going to use uh, OpenAI's whisper model to transcribe the audio files into text files. Then we are going to anonymize the text files uh, by recognizing private identifiable information. We are using a few techniques from Flare to Microsoft Presidio. And finally, we are going to use uh, the LLM, Falcon 40 billion in particular, to uh, answer some questions and extract these features to a data frame. We, we will later see that the uh, LLM didn't do like uh, as best as we expected. So we just added a post-processing function to capture the entire output and process it into a single data frame. The three first functions, transcribe, recognize, PII, and analyze, are uh, all uh, functions from our hub. MLRAN hub is a collection of functions that you can import to your own project. So as you can see, we basically uh, take uh, and build uh, using these building blocks of functions our uh, pipeline and the post-processing function is the only function that was used in this project. This is the conversation. Let's set up our project. To set up our project, we are going to write a project setup.py where we assign and import the function from the hub and assign the function that we actually wrote in uh, the project. Here you can see I'm preparing uh, the image with all the requirements. And now you can see I'm uh, setting the function from the hub. This is the transcribe function. This is the PII recognizer function. And here is the question answering function. The question answering function will use GPUs. So we are setting the GPUs. And uh, finally, we are setting the post-processing function. To get the project, we are going to call mlrun.get or create project. This will uh, assign all the function as we just saw. And now we are ready to run the workflow. We will run the workflow using these parameters. The data is going to be in the directory called data. We are going to use the transcribe model uh, of Whisper Tiny. We are choosing the PII model. We are choosing the entities we want to, uh, to, to recognize. We are choosing the operations uh, of how to deal with the recognized PII. So in this occasion, we are going to replace them with some value. Then we are going to uh, choose our model, the Falcon 40 billion instruct, and we are going to ask him five questions. Classify the customer issue in one to four words, write the 50 to 100 word summary of the text. Was the customer issue fixed, yes or no? In one word, was the customer tone positive, negative, or neutral? And again, for the agent tool, we are running the function and we can see in the Iguazio platform, we can see the function and all the outputs as well. The transcribe function yielded this uh, data. We see the uh, MP3 file, we see the text file, we see the detected language and the length of the conversation. The PIR recognizer and question answering uh, ran after it. And the question answering have now uh, another data frame uh, with the extracted features. And we can see it didn't do exactly as we told it because we asked for him to, for example, answer in one word, yes or no, if the issue was fixed. And you see it's answered yes, the customer issue was fixed. It 
uh, it requires post-processing, and this is why we added uh, the project function post-processing, where we can see the output in this notebook here. To remember, we started with audio files, and now let's see what we got. We have a detected language, we have the length of the conversation, we have the rate of speech, we have the issue, which is, for example, damaged product, we have the summary, what was the issue fixed, we have the customer tone, is it positive, neutral, or negative, and all of that can be taken to further uh, analyze the data and, uh, and uh, analysis. For future work, we are going to uh, add a MySQL relational database. We are going to add Milbus as a factor database. And we are going to add data generation workflow, analysis workflow, and some front end application that will run on top of the data. So there is a lot to wait for. So stay tuned and see you in the next version. Bye bye.